Hey everybody, Captain Beanard back here with another Wi-Fi battle. So uh, today we have a battle against Skep Gandhi slash Skep slash Gandhi, uh, the legendary and infamous one from battles past in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. This is actually our first ever game here on Sword and Shield, and it is actually kind of a milestone because it is my 50th battle here on Sword and Shield as well. So all that is pretty cool and uh, getting to face an old opponent that I haven't faced in quite some time is also uh, pretty cool as well. So um, there you can see I am using the same team I've been using the past uh, few games. As you can see, his team on the side uh, looks to be pretty strong, pretty interesting. So um, he usually does bring some interesting strategies and some unorthodox style uh, to battle. So. Um, what do I want to lead with here is the question. Hmm. Not positive, actually, but not much time to choose. Yeah. I think I am just going to go for the Noivern. Seems pretty good against most of his team. And hopefully that'll work out. So there he is, and uh, looks like he's going to lead with the Scorch, as I led with the Noivern Sonic, so that is actually pretty good for me. Uh, so I'm going to frisk uh, and show that this thing is in fact carrying heavy duty boots, so that's good information. Um, so what do I want to do here? I think I'm just going to start off by making the obvious play here. I'm going to stay in and go for that choice spec air slash. Um, it would probably actually take him out um, if it hits and if he stays in. So we're just going to do that. And um, he does stay in and I go for it and I hit him. And that is just going to be a one shot kill outright actually. So that is pretty sweet. That is going to drop him down to five Pokemon right away. So great start to the game for me. He probably wasn't anticipating the choice spec. Um, he probably would have lived it if not for that, so um, that is pretty great. Now he is going to go ahead and come in with the Dragapult. So um, this thing is going to outspeed me most likely. So I don't really want to stay in here. But what do I want to come in with is the question. Yeah. Not positive actually. Mm. I think we're just going to go for the Luxray, the Meowsles, get that Intimidate in case he's physical, and Assault Vest in case he's special. So going to, uh, oh yeah, that's right, he has clear body, so yeah, the Intimidate's not going to do anything. Looks like he's packing Phantom Force, so that's going to hit me next turn. So... Yeah, so I don't really, well, I actually do kind of have something that could take that, but in my Urshifu, but I don't know if I really want to take the damage on Urshifu right now since it could do a lot of damage. I don't really want to get chipped, so I think I'm just going to uh, play rough here actually. I am max HP, so I should be able to take one of these um, at least. And uh, actually, that does quite a lot. It takes me down by about uh, three quarters. But I do hit him with the play rough in return. It is not quite enough to take him out in return, unfortunately. Um, he does survive that in the red. So um, that's not great. Um, so just going to wild charge. He's probably just going to... Oh, no, he's going to go for another Phantom Force, actually. So interesting so um so that's gonna make me miss my attack of course so I could I mean if I stay in he's definitely gonna take me out um, I don't know if it's if I really need this I mean it might be 
useful fodder, but um, I still kind of don't want to take the chip on Urshifu, but uh, I think, you know what, I think I'm just going to do it, actually. I'm just going to switch into the Urshifu. I do resist the Phantom Force, and he is intimidated, so um, I don't know how much it'll do. It shouldn't do a ton, but we'll find out. So um, there it is, and uh, takes me down by about a quarter, so that's not too bad. Um, so I am Choice Scarf, so I should be outspeeding this thing. Um, so I think I am just going to hit him up with a Wicked Blow. That should definitely take him out from this range. If he decides to stay in, that is. And he is going to stay in, so I'm just going to be able to catch him with that Wicked Blow. Um, it is a guaranteed critical hit, not that it matters, um, with that low HP. So that is going to get rid of the Dragapult, which is a big threat gone, which is awesome. And that will knock him down to four Pokemon as well. So that is pretty strong. Um, the only downside to that is he will probably figure out that I am a uh, choice Scarf here by the fact that I did outspeed him there. So... Um, he can kind of plan his next play accordingly, uh, knowing that I'm locked into the Wicked Blow, and he is indeed going to come in with Corviknight. So, um, I think I'm definitely going to want to switch out here, because I don't want to get taken out um, with a flying move. So, I think I'm just going to go ahead and switch into my... Um, Luxray is fodder, basically, at this point. That's kind of why I wanted to save it. Um, so I am going to get the Intimidate on this thing, but it does have the Mirror Armor, so it's actually going to lower my attack. Instead, uh, probably not going to matter, since I can't really take any attacks from this range. So he is going to go for the Brave Bird, and uh, that is just going to take me out. So uh, that will drop me down to five Pokemon, and he is going to take some recoil damage there from... Uh, not only the move, but also the life orb as well. So, um, now I do get the switch advantage, and I think I'm just going to go ahead and come in with the Mega Man here, good old uh, Galarian Slowbro. Uh, I do have one good move for this thing, so um, he could anticipate it, but I'm just going to uh, make the obvious play and go for the flamethrower here. Uh, hopefully do some great damage or take this thing out. If he decides to stay in, he might switch. Who knows? So he is going to stay in and he's just going to Brave Bird me. I am max HP on this thing, so um, I do take that. It does uh, about two-thirds, which is quite a lot. He is going to take quite a bit of recoil and life orb damage there, which will leave him open for a flamethrower. And that will be enough from that range to take this thing out thankfully, and uh, drop him down to three Pokemon there, so that's pretty good. And then I will regain some HP from the Black Sludge. So, that is looking pretty solid. So, we'll see what he wants to bring in in response. It looks like he's going to go for the Obstagoon. So, um, not really much of a point in me switching out here. Um, I don't really want to make any risky plays since I am up right now, so I'm just going to stay in, uh, go for the shell sidearm here. He is probably just going to take me out with an attack, unless my quick draw activates, which it just did, and uh, that's going to let me go first with a shell sidearm on him, and that will take him down by about half, which is pretty nice, but he's just going to knock off in return, and that will definitely just finish me off from that range, and uh, that will drop me down to four Pokemon, but... Um, and then he is going to get burned from the Flame Orb as well. So, um, But that is pretty good, actually, because uh, I was able to get a lot of good damage on this thing. So, um, what do I want to come in with now is the question. I think it's going to be... Uh, the smart play here would just be to go back into the Urshifu. So, going to bring Goku back in. And... I can pretty much um, just freely go for the close combat here, so that's what I'm going to do. 
And uh, he actually outspeeds me here, hits me with an obstruct, um, which is going to actually protect itself. So now that's um, going to hit him with a close combat there. So yeah, I'm not really sh too sure what happened there, to be honest with you. I don't, I don't, I forgot what obstruct does, um, but that's okay. Uh, the close combat's just gonna not take care of this thing outright. And uh, that's gonna drop him down to two Pokemon as he's gonna come in with the Cinderace. So, um, with the Scarf, I know I should outspeed this thing, but, um, I don't know actually if I can take him in one shot. He might be, uh, sashed or something, so I think I do actually want to play it safe here and, um, get out of here. So, going to, and he could also Dynamax, that's another possibility. So, um, I think I'm going to switch into something, don't know what. I think I'm gonna go. Eh, I think we'll go into Blastoise here. So yeah, we'll go into Leonardo because I do want to get my uh, defense drops erased. As he is gonna go for a Pyro Ball, he actually misses, so that kind of sucks. Um, yeah, that definitely sucks for him. That is unfortunate. Um, so Blastoise is definitely poised to do some damage here. I think I'm just going to go for a Hydro Pump um, and see what happens. He is going to stay in and go for a high jump kick. He does connect with that. That will take me down uh, by a little less than half. Uh, I go for the Hydro Pump, and I actually miss the Hydro Pump, so that sucks. Um, so a little bit of uh, payback, I guess, there for the miss on, um, on his side. So... Um, kind of in the same boat I was last time. Uh, just gonna go for the Hydro Pump again. Hopefully I don't miss another one. I know I should take another high jump kick. So he is gonna connect with that, and I do survive with about a quarter HP. Gonna go for the Hydro Pump again. Thankfully I don't miss again. That would be devastating. Um, and the Hydro Pump is just going to one-shot kill this thing outright with a critical hit. Uh, I don't think that mattered since I am max special attack, um, with a super effective attack on him there. And um, I know that thing does not have the best defenses. So uh, he is going to come in with Rhyperior here. And um, I guess there's no reason to uh, not just go for another Hydro Pump. So that's what we're going to do. And uh, I do outspeed and I do miss another Hydro Pump. So that sucks. <laughs> so good old uh, Hydro Pump accuracy there uh, coming through. So that sucks. Um, he's going to take me out with an Earthquake there and drop me down to um, three Pokemon, but that's okay. I do still have options for this thing. Um, I do kind of laugh off those misses um, just because of the fact that uh, you know, it was at least it wasn't in a super critical point in the game because I do have uh, several Mons in the back. So uh, just going to go for the Choice Spec Draco Meteor here on the Noivern. I know I'll outspeed him for sure. I am going to nail him with that. Thankfully, I don't miss that as well. And uh, that is just going to one-shot kill this thing outright. So that is game. So uh, going to get the win there. 3-0 versus Gandy. But that was a fun match. Um, definitely a good one. And definitely reminiscent of the good old days back in uh, Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon. So, League card, yes. And quit. So, that's it. Thanks for watching again, everybody. Hope you all enjoyed. Please hit that like button, leave a comment, and or subscribe if you did enjoy. And stay tuned for more new battles in the future. So, that's it. And we'll see you next time.